Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. This is Srinivas Pujari. In this video, I am going to give an uh, introduction, just introduction. Tomorrow, we'll create a, uh, a data mart. Okay, so today I'm going to give an introduction. What is a data mart? Why it is introduced? Okay, what are the, you know, um, uh, benefits? Okay, what are the benefits we can get? Okay, we'll go with the data mart. And what are the futures? Okay, what are the futures we have? And then when to use data mart? Okay, these are the four points. Okay, what is data mart? when to use data mart what are the futures and what are the benefits what is the earlier process okay so what is the earlier process this is the points you will understand end of this session okay first what is the data mart so data mart is like you know in power bi service you can create you can you know collect the tables and then you can create etl operations and then you can do the modeling and then you can create a measures and you can create a relationship and also you can ask uh, some questions, business related questions. So it's a UI based, like, uh, um, you know, self service. Uh, uh, so even users can, you know, create their own um, model and also they can ask some questions without knowing SQL. Okay. Without knowing SQL. So they can ask the questions and then they can analyze, um, you know, ad hoc uh, reports also they can create. Okay. Like if they don't want to maintain the data somewhere in the SQL server. So um, now uh, Microsoft is giving uh, a data mart um, backend as a Azure SQL server. Um, there, um, um, so it's almost 100 gigabytes to terabytes. So we can uh, maintain the data. Um, so without knowing SQL and without knowing anything coding, without knowing coding, you can create a uh, database. Okay, what is the earlier process? Earlier process is that like, so uh, when we want to create uh, some report, um, so SQL developers has to have their uh, SQL server uh, installed and then um, also they have to you know, pull the data from different different sources like uh, Excel, SQL server, SharePoint, and then they integrate the data and then they, they place it in one central report that may be data warehouse or database. Anyway, okay, they will maintain some data from there. We are taking the data and then creating a report. For that, you need to require a SQL server instance and then um, pulling the data from somewhere. We need to wait for this process, then only we can create a report. The process has been changed now. So, uh, so like, so whenever this is for the user purpose, like user can take uh, web-based data or on-premises data or files or some other sources, they can take and then they can create a data mart in a Power BI service and then they can create some ad hoc analysis and uh, ad hoc uh, reports they have created. Okay, what are the benefits we have while, uh, you know, while creating a data mart? Okay, self-service. Um, so it's a totally self-service users uh, can easily perform a relational um, uh, database analytics. Okay, relational database analytics without without uh, the need of, you no know, SQL Server administration. Okay, you no need to maintain any SQL Server administration, SQL Server creation and all. So without knowing that you can perform the relational analytics. And also data marts provides end-to-end -end, um, data integrity. So in the, in the investigation you can do and then preparation and then explanation with the SQL, including no code experience. You don't require any coding uh, knowledge and all. So just uh, um, how you will select the you know, Excel, how you will filter the data and then group by in Excel. The same way you can uh, perform uh, like how Excel users can do the same way you can perform the SQL operations also like that uh, visual experience you can uh, do that and then uh, enable semantic model also so you can create the model also and data mart futures okay what are the futures we have in the data mart so data mart features like 100% web based okay 100% web based means we are creating the data mart in the uh, uh, Power BI uh, service only. No software is required. Just now we discussed. Okay, no code is required. So you can uh, fully maintain uh, data uh, by uh, no data mart. And also, no need to no need to do the performance tuning and all. Okay, if you want to create a report, so like uh, so um, traditional reports, you have to go and then create a SQL Server instance and then pull the data and write some queries and then. Uh, you have to like if the query is performance slow, then you have to do the performance tuning and all. But here, so data mart itself do the performance tuning, and then so by using you know um, built-in visual uh, SQL editor, 
you can do some ad hoc analysis also um like what is this built in uh, sql editor and all so i will show you tomorrow like uh, while creating a uh, data mat i will show you and also it will support uh, um, for sql and other uh, popular client tools also it can support but to create your data mat okay to create your data mat you should have a power bi premium uh, so power bi premium capacity um or uh, premium user okay so anything okay you should have a premium capacity okay premium per user or premium uh, capacity so you should have and then when to use the data mart okay so suppose you are working in you know accounting and finance okay if you want to you know uh, own build over your own uh, you know uh, data collections and then you want to so you want to ask some questions about your data uh, so uh, strongly recommend for you know go and use this data mart okay so if you are a business users and you want to ask some questions about your data you want to do some ad hoc analytics uh, obviously you can go for the data mart so like uh, tomorrow we'll see like how to create a data mart in the power bi service um, like what things we can do like we can do the measures and then we can do the uh, no our role level securities and we cannot do the new calculated column and the new new table but uh, we can do the we can perform uh, etl operations and then everything okay so we'll uh, i will show you like uh, how to create and all and how to create a premium workspace and all also i will show you so uh, tomorrow uh, video we'll uh, discuss about that guys okay thank you uh, hope you enjoy this video so we'll see tomorrow guys thank you